the heart of Middle East, a new chapter of an old conflict is unfolding. Tensions between Israel and Hezbollah are rising, and everyone is paying attention in this ongoing conflict. But why are the fighting again, and what does it mean for the people caught in the middle? So let's explore one of the biggest and longest running conflict in the Middle East and unravel the story behind the headlines. To understand the full picture, first we need to look at the history of the conflict. The roots of the Israel and Hezbollah tensions have been building up for many years. Hezbollah, a Shiite militant group from Lebanon, was created in the early 1980s and one reason for the, its information was the Israeli invasion of Lebanon in 1982. The 1982 Lebanon war was a key moment. Israel invented Lebanon to remove the Palestinian Liberation Organization but ended up facing Hezbollah. Even though Israeli pulled out of Lebanon in 2000 and there have been many fights between the two sides since then. So, in one corner, there is Israel, a country with advanced technology, a strong military and a thriving economy. And in the other corner is Hezbollah, a Lebanese group with powerful military skills and close links to Iran. So, what's the connection between them and why do they keep clashing? Let's find out in the recent development. The Golan Heights is a key area that Israel took from Syria during the 1967 Six Day War. And it has been a source of tension between Israel and Syria for a long time. Tensions often rise in this region, but today's violence shows a big increase in attack from Hezbollah, a group that has always been hostile towards Israel. Then, Hezbollah is the strongest of these groups. And the CIA has said that Hezbollah has about 45,000 fighters and around 150,000 missiles and rockets of different kinds. And recently, a deadly rocket attack in the Golan Heights has highlighted as fear of full-scale war between Israel and Hezbollah, with both sides saying they are ready to keep hoping to avoid it. On Sunday, Israel announced it would respond strongly to Hezbollah after accusing the group of killing 12 children and teenagers with a rocket attack on a football field in the Golan Heights. While Hezbollah denied any involvement in this attack, which is the deadliest in the region since the war in Gaza began on October 7. Well, this is the background to hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah. Now, let's moving back to the conflict and why are they fighting and what impact has it had so far. Let's fight it again. The conflict began with a series of action like drone attacks, missile launches and secret operation where both sides blame each other for starting the violence but it's more complicated. Hezbollah started fighting with Israel on October 8 and just a day after Hamas attacked southern Israel and began in the war in Gaza. The Gaza war has brought in the Iran-backed groups from across the region. But Hezbollah is considered the strongest member of this network and called the Axis of Resistance. While linked to Gaza, the conflict has its own dynamics. Israel and Hezbollah have fought numerous wars, like the last war in 2006. Israel has always seen Hezbollah as its biggest border threat and it's very worried about Hezbollah's increasing weaponry and its presence in Syria. Well, Hezbollah was formed by Iran's Revolutionary Guards in 1982 to fight against Israeli forces that had invaded Lebanon. And after years of fighting, Israel left southern Lebanon in 2000, where Hezbollah sees Israel as an illegal state on land that belongs to Palestinians and want to see it gone. But the current conflict has already taken a toll on both sides, where tens of thousands of people have had to leave their homes on both sides of the border, where Israeli airstrikes have hit areas in the southern Lebanon, where Hezbollah is active and also targeted the Baqa Valley near the Syria border. Well, Israeli strikes have killed around 350 Hezbollah fighters and over 100 civilians in Lebanon, and including medics, children, and journalists 
according to sources and Hezbollah's death notices. Now in Israel, the larger number of displaced people is a major political issue. On the other hand, officials had hoped they could return home by the start of the school year on September 1. But that's looking like lessly as the conflict goes on. The conflict between Israel and Hezbollah is a mix of history, politics and human pain. As everyone watches, we hope for a further with peace. Stay tuned for more updates on this ongoing developing story and keep watching it.com.